The National Museum of Egyptian Civilization was officially inaugurated by Egyptian President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi as it received the 22 royal mummies in a dazzling display. It took four years of research and studies to be able to preserve the mummies while being transported. I started the work in 2017 by checking the condition of each mummy, the strong and weak points and the way it was preserved. Then we had to find a way to take it out of the nitrogen case without causing any damage. We then made it more resistant to the normal climate changes. And then we began the restoration work. We studied how to move the mummy from the museum into the vehicle and how the vehicle should be equipped to absorb any shocks. This is just one part. The other is how to preserve the mummies intact on its way here. A long, complicated process. The capsules the mummies were placed in were especially created for this occasion. The capsule is my personal innovation. It has an exterior cover with a bed inside that prevents any shaking of the mummy and supports it against any shocks. We place the mummies in the cases and cover them so that they are totally isolated from the environment and filled with 99.9% .9 pure nitrogen. Every step was carefully studied. The National Museum of Egyptian Civilization has been chosen as the new home because of its updated high-tech system to preserve and display the monuments. What makes this museum unique is not just the high technology used to display monuments, but that it also showcases the different eras of Egypt's history and heritage, not just the ancient Egyptian civilization. You have pieces from the Coptic era, from the Roman times, and the Islamic civilization. There are 1,600 pieces in the museum. Several have been earlier relocated, but officials tell me two monuments were tough to restore and transport. A skeleton of a 35,000-year-old caveman restored in good shape and the 3,000-year-old statue of King Akhenaten. The King Akhenaten statue was found scattered in many pieces in Luxor and was stored for 10 years. It was very difficult to clean the dust and the remains stuck on the statue for thousands of years. We then began putting the broken pieces back to their original state. The arm you see there, for instance, was difficult to restore as it was in pieces. The arm alone weighed 90 kilograms and we had to put it back on the statue while it's standing like this. That alone took three days to do. Officials expect this museum to be a new destination to attract tourists from around the world. Yes, Hakim, for CGTN. Cairo.